All right. It's that time of the the evening, I guess you could say. Well, it's like late night now, but um, it's going to be a little different because I'm actually just recording this. I'm actually not streaming uh, for this time around uh, for the gotcha part anyway. I'm all too tired to do a full stream um, from work. It's been a mess. Funny because I just came back from vacation and I returned to work and then it's a complete mumbo jumbo just clusterfuck right now as I come home. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully these poles won't be a much of a clusterfuck, you know, <laughs> but I guess that's life. But anyway, hope everyone's doing good. I'm just going to go ahead and set up um, a little lazy way to, oh, okay, never mind. It's going to set off the thing, I guess, no matter where I go. That's actually kind of perfect because it gives me the excuse to do this. Let's go to Luo Fu. Um, let's just head to right here. Oop. Let's just head to the general like market area, I guess, because I don't know. Oh, there's Sushang right there just standing there casually. All right. Um, I did watch that trailer. It was pretty funny because the um character uh <clears throat> Yun Li, who we're gonna try to just pull for, stomps the shit out of the uh the stone slab on her chest because like uh what's her name um Gwenaifin likes to do like street performances and one of them apparently is putting a stone slap over her friend and smash it with the hammer i don't know what the purpose of that other than maybe to show how strong she is or something i don't know either of the two i don't know but anyway that happened except that you only stomped the shit out of her like alex stomps her uh okay so while i do that go ahead and set up the a ritual team to try to and uh pull for her so number two slot it has to be young ching number one of course good old daddy uh jing yun um i guess fu shuan well maybe we'll find someone else along the way maybe blade because there's apparently some sort of secret lore that I maybe not a lot of people know about but well, apparently he's like a um maternal or adoptive uncle foster uncle I guess let me see who is a better candidate it's gotta be March because that thing is coming up right uh let me see let me see um well it could be either her or Gwenaifen because of that part of the video. I guess Sushang because um you know swords and stuff, you know. She kinda has some sort of like enthusiasm for them, right? Just like uh Swordmaster Yun Lee. So hopefully this will be enough. Alright. Let's get Yang Ching in here. We're standing next to Sushang. I don't see why this won't work. This totally will be flawless, right? Oh my god, I haven't had Yang Ching on the screen in a long time. Although I think honestly I should probably go for her more because it's because she's like a good healer and support. You know? But my desire is definitely more towards her. I think she's like really cute with the whole food thing. And then like Um I actually did not expect her voice to be like the way it is. You know, but I think it's cute in that sense. Um, I sh should try her out. Ooh. Wait, what's going on here? What the heck? What is she doing? <laughs> it's like flying or got to like munch on something. Okay. So, right. This is the March 7th stuff. Yes. Let's go ahead and try her out. Yeah, she's basically a counter character. Okay. 
Nothing ex uh, extraordinary so far. Go ahead and do this. Boom! Alright, she's about to do something, so... What's her skill? Restores this unit's HP, deals minor physical damage to a enemy adjacent targets. Okay. So she has some sort of, like, self-heal. That's... That's kind of neat. Hmm. Enters parry. Taunts all enemies. So she's almost basically like... Um, yeah, like Clara... Maybe 1.5 or something. What's her talent? When she, uh, you only gets attacked by an enemy target, additionally regenerates energy <clears throat> and immediately launches a counter against the attacker and the adjacent targets. Okay. This war, this unit gains the ward effect lasting 20 seconds during this uh, time upon entering combat by either attacking enemies or receiving an attack. Immediately casts an Inuit uh, intuit uh, call on a random enemy. Okay, whatever that means. Some sort of state. Okay. Oh, wow. She already... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What to do, what to do. So this is do anything? No. This is the one that heals and does some AoE damage. I like her animation. I like her stance. It's pretty cool. She got the great sword kind of thing going on. Pretty cool. Uh enemy attacks in the next turn. Use the power thing. Okay. Oh, wait. There we go. <clears throat> it was on fast forward. But is she going to do that every time she gets attacked? Is that her actual thing? Or animation? Okay, I'm going to do this. Because we already know what that looks like. No, okay, she throws the thing, okay. Pretty sure I should wait for the thing to go down, little pips to go down and then use it. Probably should use it now. Forgot about that animation. It's been a while. Oh, she has like two of them. Okay. Oh, shoot. Good. Oh, well. Oof. Wow. She smashed the shit out of him even without the weakness. Jesus. Okay. Seems pretty cool. I mean, is she the most wanted character right now? Probably not. But definitely her appeal that more comes from her character for me. I'm sure a number of people feel that way. Her kit 
is something I don't think it uh, you would need. You know, she's just Clara, but built different. <laughs> it's it's a way to sum it up. You know, it's a way to sum it up. And um, let me go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit. But anyway, is she someone you absolutely need? Hmm. Right. I would say no. But is she a fun character? You know, that depends on who you are, of course. Do you do you have Clara for stuff? Do you want to follow the follow-up attack path? That's um something to think about. See, I would I would wonder what happens when you combine Yunli and Clara and put them on the uh, same team. Would that be like anti-synergy or actual synergy in some wacky way? But either way, I want to go for her. I made the decision because um, if I don't get her, I'm guaranteed to get the, the next character, which is uh, for me, Fei Xiao. I want to uh, go for her and maybe perhaps uh, even use the rest of my top of bonuses for her. Potentially. But for right now, this is kind of like one of those like, you know, let me grab this character. Uh, if I win, if I win it, I win it. If I don't, I have the guarantee. So, and plus she's pretty cute. Got the big sword, you know. That's uh kind of enough for me. So you know, I'm kind of a, kind of a simple man at times. We're definitely not gonna go for this. We're definitely just gonna go for the character one copy. So. Without further ado, let's go for Yun Lee, and hopefully the damage will be minimal. Let's go. I've got to count the pity. <laughs> oh well. I could use more Hanya. I think, I think she's part of the four star banner thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. Oh, we got uh, Yu Kong. We already have enough of her though. All right. So basically this plus 10. I think we're starting off fresh. Yes, we're starting off fresh. So that was zero pity. So therefore we have 10 on the uh, on the line here or in the thing on the board. Excuse me. Can't talk. I'm tired. All right. 20. No early. All right. It's a purple. Another Yukong. Jeez Louise. This is gonna be a. It's gonna be one of those sessions. We are guaranteed to get a five star character though. Of sorts. And it's a purple, right? Yeah. So you can go ahead and skip it. Oh, we got this one. Oh, that took a bit. Moles welcome you. Uh, this is a this is a this is a consideration for Yun Li, but definitely not the best one. Um, so thirty, right? Or he's losing count. Oh well, thirty-ish poles. Oh, we got links. Guess I didn't bother escaping. Let's see. Oh, two purples. Look at that. Right, right at the ends. First end and then last end right there. <laughs> Both already fully uh, idolond. Okay. 40-ish. Skip it. Ooh, 
I actually wanted this one. Good night, sleep well. I can definitely use more of those. So that is a pretty good temple for me. 50-ish. Oh, it's making me go quite a bit, isn't it? Skip it. Another links. Here we go. Sixty-ish, right? Another purple. Skip. Oh, we got a Luca, who I forgot was already fully. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> Idol Lawn. No, no Hanya so far though. We have not uh, gotten all of the Hanyas just yet. So now 60? Did I say 60? It's like 60 or 70. I'm losing count. <gasps> Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, we're not skipping this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Any time now. Any time now. Oh god. Ah. Oh. The follow up character that we're not looking for. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, wait a minute, though. Not over just yet. Not over just yet. Ah. Uh, damn. Okay. Well, if that was Face Shadow's banner, I would have gotten it. I probably would have gotten him a go there too. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ritual did not work at all. Took me about six, 60 to 70 pulls. So. Well, good thing I didn't. <laughs> good thing I didn't stream because that was. um Did not feel good. But. When I go for uh, Phase Shao, it will. Ah, so sorry, Yun Lee. I think, uh, honestly, that's it for me. <laughs> oh, man. We only got Himiko. What's this one? Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised I'm only gotten E1 so far. Victor Rush is triggered. Himiko speed is increased by 20%. Oh, that's pretty nice. She has her little up up and coming moments. Depending on which mode that is. But yeah. That was uh kind of painful. But whatever. We got the uh, the non guaranteed out of the way, so now we're guaranteed to get Face Shao whenever she comes. Because I think the next one is the Fox Dude, yes. So we have quite the wait. So I am not getting the Fox Man, so I'm gonna just go ahead um, and leave it there, honestly. Because uh, it'd be. At this point, a waste because now we're guaranteed. You never know if we're going to pull um, the banner character now, right? Better save it for later. All right. That's all I got. Sorry about that, guys, for a relatively dry video. But, you know, that's kind of gotcha for you, man. You can't have all the 
the highs, man. Then sometimes you gotta get the lows. So, well, that's what makes the other pulls more special, right? It's all, it's all in luck. But well, anyways, with that, thank you very much. Uh, leave any comments or anything like that about this video <laughs> down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, I'll be back on um, Star Rail for the story that's been added in here in uh, um, the next stream. So we'll be on that for a little bit. Taking a break from streaming ZZZ since there hasn't been much after um uh Juin, right so, so you're sorry young ching your potential girlfriend did not arrive i'm sorry man i tried i tried well anyways <laughs> uh thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next video sean out